Hello, hello, hello everyone. Hey, welcome back to my channel. Alright, let's see what we got for you today. So if you're into the European cars, check. If you're into Italian cars, double check. And if you're into Alfa Romeo, you won the prize. <laughs> All right, guys, let's see what we got for you right now. We have a 143 scale, and this is an Alfa Romeo 147. Now, this is the second generation Alfa Romeo 147. They just refreshed it a bit. Not a second generation. They refreshed the look. It's more like that. It didn't go, they didn't change. This uh, refresh model, it came out in 2004. So by the way, the Alfa Romeo was done, was sold between 2000 and 2010. The Alfa Romeo 147. In 2004, they refreshed the model, which is this one right here. And the diff, a bit diff, the face is different, and also the rear is a bit different. But beyond that, it's more or less the same size of a car. They're both attractive, I have to say, the, the before the refresh and after the refresh. It, but obviously the second, the one that we're looking at right now, which is the re refreshed model, it gives a more of a um, aggressive look, the front, especially the front. And I like that, I like that. And you know, the red and Alfa Romeo are they go hand by hand. Alfa Romeo cars, you know, it's always been known that the the red, it's what they really stand out with. It's like the Ferraris. Red and Ferrari are like hand to hand, like brother and sister. All right, this, by the way, this car was only built in Italy. It was not built in any other part of the world, only in Italy. You know, like other brands, they have it in Italy, they got Poland, they got France, they got South America, they got, even they got in Asia for the Asian market. Nope, this was only in Italy. When this model take over, it took over the 145. If you remember the 145, it was about the same type of size, but it was a bit more squarish a bit more squarish but it was still very modern when i remember when it came out i have a 145 i'll make a video in the future also uh yeah like i said they were very very res respected they liked them they were not the best sold cars you know they they by the way they came out in a four cylinder and they had a racing type in a six cylinder which was a 3.0 GTA but most of them were in a four cylinder you know basically that was that was uh, that was the record of the car I don't remember seeing being sold outside Europe I don't think this Alfa Romeo was sold in South America I'm not sure about Asia and Alfa Romeo was not in United States back then or Canada back when this model came out so it's, you know it's it's a remember car not the most remember Alfa Romeo all right let me uh, actually it was sold in South America it was sold in in Brazil it was just never produced in Brazil but it was you know not sold in big quantities all right yeah, I'm gonna let this car go around a few times you can have a nice look at it and I'll be right back
All right, guys. So you know, it's usually the same questions that I usually ask. Have you ever seen these cars on the road? Um, you know what? I wonder if they were ever sold in a four door. I think they were. I think I seen pictures of it. Now, have you ever seen them on the road? Have you ever drove one of these? Have you ever got the pleasure to own one of these? You know, it's not a car they're going to see in a car show, like in a classic car show, because they're not that old. So these cars are either still being used or totally forgotten. <laughs> I think they're still being used. They're not that old. And Alfa Romeos are not, they're not the greatest in being reliable, but they're not the worst either. You know, and I tell you, Alfa Romeo, this model is very futuristic to me. Very modern shape, you know, the front, that uh, triangle type of a uh, grill pointing, you know, pointing down. It's really nice. I really like the front. I really like them. They're, you know, they, they look very modern. It looks... It doesn't remind me of another car. Beyond the Fiat, you know, obviously Fiat and Alfa Romeo, they're connected. But that grill is, doesn't match in any other car out there. Beyond another Alfa Romeo. All right, guys, do not forget to give me that nice thumbs up, which I really, really, really appreciate. It shows me that you're enjoying these videos as much as I enjoy making them. And do not forget to click and subscribe. And also click the bell next to the subscribe button. When you click the bell, it will remind you when I'm posting more videos. So it literally does the homework for you. So that's the good part about that bell, you know. And yeah, I'll be posting more videos very soon. And I'll see you on my next video. Take care of yourselves more than ever. And goodbye.